Hello, hello, and welcome to a YouTube video. Whoa, shit. Holy shit. That was scary. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, this video is about this carbon microphone, the latest of the technologies in the professional audio field. Yeah, I guess that's the bet. It's funny because it sounds old, and old people sound funny. So, yeah, this is a carbon microphone. Can you all see that? Carbon microphones are sort of an old technology. These were used before dynamic microphones. And where you can find these, these carbon capsules is... Old telephones! I think in the 80s they started using electric capsules for these, but up to that point they were using carbon microphones. And... Come on, dude. Fuck. Come on, dude. Hello, how do you do? A lot of people online are building lo-fi microphones out of old telephones, but I feel like most of them are using just the ear parts. So it's basically just a speaker. And a speaker is basically just a dynamic microphone. So you don't need any additional components for that. You just wire a connector to the speaker, and then it works as a microphone. But the actual microphone parts in these are... Whoop, are these... Carbon capsules. Yeah! Good boy! The carbon capsules do require power, so you need phantom power for a microphone like this to work. But I found a very simple circuit from a YouTube video, and I'll link the video in the description. All you need for the circuit is a transformer, a resistor, and a capacitor. The transformer needs to have a center tap on one of the sides. So it needs to have three wires coming from one of the sides. And so the carbon capsule in my microphone is from another old telephone. And then the gigantic transformer is from something. It was something broken that I got from someone. It might have been a power supply or something. I don't know where it's from and I don't know what it is because it doesn't say anything other than 027 on the top. I have no idea what kind of a transformer this is and what would what, 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 but it did have a center tap on one of the sides so I guess you can't go that wrong. Alright? It's just a transformer. But I have ordered another smaller transformer from eBay and I will be building another microphone from that telephone. If the sound is somehow very different, then I'll probably make another video. This is heavy as shit. Let's go and see some footage of me building the microphone. Okay? Cool. First I cut a piece of wood to a nice microphone-ish size. I marked where all the things go, the transformer, the T-nut so you can put it on a stand, the XLR connector, and the carbon microphone capsule. I drilled some pilot holes, and then drilled a slot for the XLR connector. And for the carbon capsule on the other side. And I also drilled a hole for the T-nut. Then I took a long drill bit and made a hole the whole way through the body so we can connect all the parts together.
I drilled a sort of a pocket for the transformers, wires, and the other electronic components. Then I decided to shape the front side of the microphone a bit. Next, it was time to solder all the electronics and put them inside the body. This part was very annoying because you have to get all the wires through the different holes and the transformer made it kind of difficult. Then I attached the transformer to the body of the microphone and after that all there was to do was to connect the wires to the carbon capsule and then hot glue the capsule in its place. I do love the lo-fi sound of the microphone, especially on vocals, because, you know, you get the, the nice vintage telephony vibes. But I will also demonstrate the sound on some instruments. The microphone does distort quite a bit when the sound source is loud enough, so it's definitely not perfect for some instruments, but at least it has character. Just a moment, please.
I place the microphone very close to the kit between the bass drum and the snare drum and I do have a dynamic microphone for the bass drum so we can get some body for the sound but I'll start with just the carbon microphone Then I moved it even further, but the sound wasn't really all that different. Next I tried it as an overhead microphone. Well, that is what the carbon microphone sounds like. Now, lastly, let's go and listen to a little demo song I recorded using the microphone. For the bass drum, I did use a dynamic microphone so we can get some low end. But other than that, it's all this wonderful microphone. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.